Hello, this is Brian Barbosa. I'm a computer science student at the Federal University of Juiz de Fora in Brazil. And also I am a research assistant for the Center for Research and Education on Aging, the CRE, from the University of California in Berkeley. And today I'm going to show you a simple library that we created on CREA for interfacing the IDS1115 model, analogical digital converter, with the Volcor 2, a single board computer that we've been using on CREA for creating some projects that we've been working on. And I'm going to show you how to use it. It's very simple. As you can see, the IDS1115 is the model that's on, on your screen right now. And it has four uh, anal analogical inputs, a zero and a one, a two and a three. The library that we created, it's called Volcor2 IDS1115. As you can see here, it's very simple, uh, a very small code. And for using it, there are instructions on the GitHub page that's going to be on the description of this video. There is a GitHub repository with all the instructions that I'm going to tell you right now about using it and also some requirements that you have to install on your Volcor before you start using it, okay? I'm going to show you how to use it in a simple example right now. As you can see, the example is even smaller. We started by importing the library. The only thing that there is inside the library is the class, as you can see here and I'm importing everything. And I'm also importing the function sleep from, from the time model of Python for giving a little delay between the readings of the analogical digital converter. So I'm creating an object of the class that I just showed you on, on the other file. Right here, I'm um, printing on the screen the readings of the pin zero if I want to change to any other of the four pins, I just come here and change it for one, two, or three. There are four pins, but it's counting from zero to, to three. So um, keep that in mind. That is not one to four, it's zero to three. You're going to see now on, the, on your screen, the circuit that I mounted on my table here, I have a voltmeter, a, the Volcor, and an Arduino. They are all connected to a potentiometer and they are all reading the voltage levels of the potentiometer. And now I'm going to show you it running on the terminal. I have it running here right now. And also I'm going to show you it running on Arduino, as you can see here. You will may notice that the amplitude of the ADS1115 readings is much greater than the Arduino ones because the ADS1115 has 16 bits of precision and Arduino has only 10 bits if I'm not mistaken. You're going to see that on your screen too. I'm going to turn the axis of the potentiometer and they are going to vary its values too. Okay, you can see it happen. It's happening on Arduino and and also is happening on the Volcor too. You are going to see on your screen that is also happening on the voltmeter. Okay. So this is it. This is a simple library for controlling the IDS1115. It has a lot of more features. And if you want to contribute, you are welcome to our project to help us increase the available codes for Volcor. It would be very nice to have a lot of them like there are for Raspberry Pis and Arduinos. Okay, this is it. Bye bye.